So once we finish with the wastewater coming out of the secondary treatment facility, we have to disinfect it before we can discharge it into the stream. At this plant, we use gaseous chlorine to disinfect the wastewater, and it's coming in one-ton cylinders. It could also come in 150-pound cylinders or 100-pound cylinders. You could also get chlorine in a liquid form, which is the same as the bleach that you use in your house, or you can get it in a solid tablet form. All of them perform the same function. It removes the pathogens from the wastewater before it's discharged into the stream. We're at the chlorine contact chamber where we disinfect the effluent from our secondary wastewater treatment process. We add chlorine at the beginning of this basin because what we need is a chlorine concentration and a contact time. The basin has a number of baffles in it so the water flows through it, takes a long time to get to the end of it, but during that time, the chlorine removes the pathogens that are left in the water. So just to recap, our preliminary and primary treatment used physical treatment to settle out contaminants from the water. Our secondary treatment used biological treatment to remove contaminants from the water. And now we're using a chemical treatment to get rid of the pathogens that remain in the water and make it ready to discharge to the stream. Once we've disinfected the water with chlorine, we want to make sure we get all of the rest of the chlorine out before we discharge it to the stream. So in order to do that, we put in sulfur dioxide. In this facility here, we meter in the sulfur dioxide gas into a side stream of our wastewater, which then we add to the rest of the wastewater before it goes into the stream. Now you might ask the question, well, chlorine is in our drinking water. Why do we worry about its toxicity? Well, it turns out that chlorine is much more toxic to fish than it is to people, so we have to get it all out before we put it back into the stream. Whenever we're using chlorine, we must remember that it's dangerous, whether it's gaseous chlorine in the one-ton containers or in, even in the smaller containers, it still is a health hazard, and we have to have properly designed facilities, and we have to have personal protective equipment for our operators so that they aren't injured on the job. Even liquid chlorine, which is the same as bleach, can be dangerous, as well as solid chlorine, which comes in the tablet form.